we are taking a look at Warzone drop locations. Now, Call of Duty Warzone is, I would say, one of my favorite games, one of my most played games right now. Um, it's one I've really been enjoying since it's come out. Um, and it's fair to say that I've dropped at pretty much every location you can think of. Um, but today I'm just going to be looking at the main locations. Of course, there are, you know, smaller locations that you can drop it on the map, but just going to be looking at the important labeled ones and I'm going to be ranking them. How much do I like dropping at them, you know, on the first plane? You know, it's a little bit different if I'm com coming back from the gulag, might make different decisions. Probably just going to be looking for a scab, not really care you where I'm going, but out of the plane, where do I like to drop? So starting us off, we have airport. Um, now, airport is a place where I kind of enjoy like taking gunfights there, especially on an airport roof. It's always fun to sneak up there and take out the snipers who are camping up there. Um, but to be honest, outside of that, I'm really not a huge fan. I don't really like dropping an airport. The building is so big. Um, and honestly, it's really easy to get split up from your team just in terms of distance. And then it's hard to, you know, assist them if they if they end up going down. So airport, it's a decent area to take fights, but it's not really one I like to land there. If for some reason I am landing there, I'm probably going to go for the airport hangars. There's not really great loot in there, but usually, you know, you and your teammates can get a few guns and then team up and, you know, f find out where you want to go next. Uh, but airport, for an initial landing, not really my favorite. Going to find itself down in the C tier. Up next, we have Boneyard. Uh, now, I actually really like Boneyard. Um, I like it for a few reasons. <clears throat> uh, one, you know, there's a decent number of loot there. Two, you know, usually pretty good, you know, contracts, scavenger contracts, bounty contracts. Uh, but I also really like that it's, um, you know, it reminds me of, I mean, it's basically inspired from Scrapyard from Modern Warfare 2. And I, I really like playing in that map. And so I really like taking fights here because there's not really many buildings. So you don't really have people camping at the top of stairwells or on roofs or like in a corner. Um, like, you know, there's a ton of like the, the broken up planes and it's really fun to kind of fight in between them and run through them. So... I would say in terms of taking fights, Boneyard is probably my favorite place on the map to actually, you know, take engagements and take fights. Um, and for that reason, I really like landing there. It's not the best loot in the world, but it's pretty good. Um, really, the only drawback for Boneyard for me is that it is on, you know, kind of the way left side of the map. So if the zone is way on the right side, you kind of got to keep that in mind and, and keep moving. Uh, but Boneyard, just a really fun place to drop. If the plane's going right over it, I'm probably dropping Boneyard. So it's going to find itself up in the S tier. Up next, we have Downtown, which is, quite honestly, the complete opposite of Boneyard. Boneyard, there's like, you know, maybe a couple buildings that have more than one floor. There's not even that many buildings, really. Um, downtown is the opposite. There's a million buildings. Almost all of them have multiple floors. You can get on the roofs of, like, every single one. Uh, you know, you can have, like, a UAV or a heartbeat sensor and see, like, four or five people and have no clue where they are just because they could be on the ground floor, up in the building, on the roof. It's just impossible to tell. I really don't like dropping downtown. Um, I don't even like going downtown late game either because, you know, it's mostly just people sitting on roofs. You're getting sniped. Uh, not a big fan of downtown at all. The only really redeeming quality for me is that it's kind of centralized in the middle of the map. So if we're coming back from the gulag, sometimes I'll land there because I can kind of go in any direction. And um, another annoying thing is the scavenger contracts. If you get a scavenger contract in downtown, you might be running a long time because you can get one like on the ground and then you got to go onto the roof of another building. Then you got to go down for the next one and then on the roof to another building. Uh, so just not really a fan of downtown. Honestly, sorry for you downtown lovers out there, but downtown is going to find itself down in the F tier for me. Up next, we have Superstore, the uh, pretty much, I would say, premier hot drop. And honestly, I really love dropping Superstore. I'm somebody who really likes to fight in the early game. I don't really like to like loot up. And then go and fight and then just die. I'm like, I'd rather just, you know, come out swinging. I'm not the best player by any means, but I, I do, you know, I'm able to hold my own usually in Superstore. So I like the early action, the early fighting. And it's pretty good because, um, you know, there certainly are some spots where you can sit in a corner, sit at the top of stairs. But it's relatively open in the middle of Superstore. And you can take some really fun fights, really enjoy, you know, dropping, dropping Superstore in quads. So Superstore, I would say, is going to find itself in a very solid S tier for me as well. Just, you know, top of the line fighting. You get tons of people there. There's always going to be action, always going to be loot, contracts, pretty much everything you want. Middle of the map. Really no complaints about Superstore besides I die there a lot. Up next, we have Promenade East and West. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I'm going to break these kind of the same because for me, they're, they're kind of the same. It's like the neighborhoods of the map. And there's decent loot, a decent number of buildings. It's okay fighting because there's no really tall buildings, which is what I really hate. Um, but it's not really a place that I am going to go for off the drop. I'll definitely go to Promenade, you know, if I'm 
uh, trying to loot up or from coming back from the gulag trying to find some money i would say they're pretty good like secondary locations to go to but not really the kind of place that i'm going to start at initially you know sometimes maybe if i go to boneyard or i go to train i might go to promenade next if i still need more money or you know if i'm chasing a fight or something so promenade east and west i would say they're okay um not my favorites certainly not bad though but uh they'll find themselves in the c tier up next we have factory uh pretty close to superstore you know very common strat for me is drop superstore get some kills get a loadout go factory um because usually there's still gonna be people in factory factory is a very common drop i mean honestly nowadays sometimes i see more people dropping factory than superstore which is kind of crazy to me but I mean, it's kind of for a good reason, because Factory really does have good loot. It's got a decent number of contracts, lots of money there, so it's a pretty good drop location. Not one I drop a lot, because if I'm dropping in that part of the map, I'm probably just going to be going for Superstore. But Factory, I would say, you know, let's say I don't want to go to Superstore. I think Factory is a really solid drop. Um, pretty much the only reason I don't go there more is because Superstore is right next to it. And like I said, if I'm dropping in that part of the map, I'm just going to go Superstore. But Factory is nonetheless a great place. Um... Really the only drawback for me is the top of the factory roof can be pretty campy and it's kind of annoying because there's only like one or two ways up to the roof so that can be kind of annoying but outside of that I think it's a pretty good drop and it's going to find itself in a respectful A tier. Up next we have Farmland. Um, honestly not really my favorite place to drop at the beginning of the game. Uh, there's like lots of buildings there but for some reason all I find is just like howers. It's just howers like everywhere left and right. Like I run into this building and got three four howers and run into the next one two more howers and it's not even like the legendary howers so we're talking like you know grays and greens over here. So uh, farmland should be called howerland because that's really all I'm finding there this season. Uh, but outside of the loot it's okay like there's no super tall buildings which I like I said before I don't like. Um, so the fighting is really okay, but man, there's been so many times where I pulled up to farmland, like late in the game, I'm like, oh good, there's like no nobody here, you know, I can hang out here for a little bit, relax. And then there's just like a full squad camping in a house, completely silent, all ghosted. So farmland, it's not my favorite, but it's, it's not the worst either. So it will find itself in a C tier. Up next, we have Train Station. Uh, now, honestly, I really love dropping Train Station, whether I'm playing, you know, solos, duos, trios, quads. Train Station is one of my favorite spots to drop. Um, it's like the perfect size because if you have like multiple squads, you know, you can get a lot of loot, you can meet up with your team and then fight the other squads. Like there's almost always going to be action at Train Station and there's pretty good money. And if you don't get that much money, you can always go, you know, to the, to the north or to the south of Train Station to find a little bit more. So there's always going to be good fighting there. You know, it's really fun to fight inside the Train Station. Um, just a pretty fun one overall. And Train Station also going to find itself up in the A tier for me. Up next, we have Lumber. Um, now, honestly, I am not a fan of Lumber. I can't tell you how many times I've come there in, like, the mid to late game. And, you know, just like Farmland, there's a full squad camping in one of these buildings. It's horrible to drop. There's, like, so little money here every time I drop there. Maybe you guys have had better experience, but I've, I have not had good experiences with Lumber. The only redeeming quality is there's no super tall buildings for people to camp on, but Lumber... I'm not a fan of, I'm not dropping here. If I'm going on this side of the map, I'm, you know, I'm going north or south of this, not dropping lumber, that's for sure. I'm not going to be in the F tier because there's no downtown buildings, but it will find itself down in the D tier. Up next, we have a military base. Um, now, this is a pretty fun one to drop, I would say. You know, you can take a lot of fun fights. Um, you know, you can land in the hangars or the, the bunkers. You can go over the buildings. There's a few good places to drop in military base and there's always going to be people dropping there no matter where the plane is. Some people, For some reason, people still love military base. I mean, I liked the military base back in PUBG, but this one, it's not quite as good, but it's still a pretty fun drop. You're usually going to run into somebody else. Um, the main drawback for me is it is way at the top of the map. And there's nothing else super good to loot that's really close. So even though I do like fighting there, there's not a lot of fun stuff to go to close by. So military base only going to find itself in the B tier. Up next, we have Port. Uh, no, honestly, I think port is pretty fun. I really like landing in the uh, the big warehouse if I'm landing port. Um, usually pretty good loot there. Almost always going to be somebody else dropping there. Um, the big building where you can like kind of go on the roof and there's like tons of rooms kind of to the southeast of port. Um, I'm not really a fan of that building because it's like a maze and I feel like I get lost in there half the time. Um, but port, it's a, it's a decent drop for me. Going to find itself in another B tier. Up next, we have prison. Um... How do I put this lightly? Uh, honestly, guys, prison, it sucks. I'm sorry. If you like prison, I'm sorry. I, it's it's horrible. I, I can't stand prison. I can't tell you how many times I've gone into prison 
and I just get completely lost in like the basement. There's been times where like I've dropped prison, literally been fighting people for like 10-15 minutes because it's so big that it's so easy to just escape people or you know people are buying their teammates back after you kill them. It's just so hard to completely wipe a squad in prison because there's just so many places to hide. Like the entire place is just a maze. And there's been several times where I'm like in the basement of prison by like the, the old gulag area and uh, the zone is coming and I can't find my way out and I end up dying to the gas. So prison, I don't want any of it. You know, it's horrible. Prison, F tier. If there was an F minus tier, it'd be there. Prison, worst. Never dropping there. Salt mine, a better one. Um, honestly, as far as like areas that are, you know, pretty far on the edge of the map, I think salt mine is one of the better ones. It's at the top right corner, so if the zone is, you know, at the bottom left, you're going to have to go pretty far, but... As far as dropping salt mine, I think it's really good. There's good loot. There's a lot of big buildings to fight in there. Um, the fighting is pretty fun. Uh, really no complaints about salt mine. Just a pretty overall well-rounded area. And uh, it's going to find itself up in the A tier. Up next, we have Summit. Um, Summit, I'm not really a huge fan of. I know a lot of people drop there like just for the helicopter or just because they think no one else is going to be going there. Um, but honestly, I am not really a fan of Summit. Um, I've dropped there a handful of times, but most of the time if I'm going to Summit, it's because I'm coming back from the Gulag and it spawned me right on top of it. Uh, otherwise, I'm almost never going there. It's not close to anything. you got to go so far just to get to the next closest thing. Um, it's pretty annoying to fight people as well because there's like the, the two complexes that are connected by the gondola. And if someone's on the other side of the complex and they're just sniping you and you don't have a sniper, uh, you're just not in for a good time. So Summit... Not really a fan of this place, and it's going to find itself down in the D tier. Last but not least, we have Stadium. Uh, now, Stadium, of course, has changed quite a bit over the uh, the last few seasons. You know, first it used to be, you know, mostly covered with, like, a gap in the middle, and then it got blown up, and now there was an earthquake, and now it's got a hole in it. Um, I would say this is probably my least favorite iteration of Stadium, though. I'm not really a huge fan of, like, the, the crevice that goes through that part of the map. Um, I have found that there's a decent amount of loot down there, um, but... Not a huge fan of it, honestly. Just kind of annoying to navigate. I liked the old stadium from last season where it was blown up, but still no crack yet. Um, you can have some really fun fights, you know, if you land there in, in quads and you have another squad land there. It's always fun to duke it out in the stadium, but uh, the current iteration of stadium, I'm not quite as big of a fan of. Last season, I probably would have given it an A tier. This season, going to find itself in the B tier. Well, that's my list. Let me know your guys' thoughts, and I hope you enjoy